COVID-19 and the cardiovascular system by Dr. Sengo Duvelu, Interventional Cardiologist, Polo Hospitals, Chennai. Today, we are facing a big threat from the novel coronavirus, namely the SARS coronavirus 2, which causes both respiratory and also significant cardiovascular damage. So patients who have pre-existing heart disease have higher expression of AC2 receptors and thereby those patients can develop a higher risk of developing myocardial injury. Similarly, uh, patients who are uh, hypertensive patients who are already taking medications such as uh, angiotensin receptor blockers or angiotensin converting enzymes have a higher expression of uh, AC2 receptors and hence can cause more damage caused by COVID-2 when these patients are already taking angiotensin receptor blockers or AC inhibitors. But uh, as of today, uh, look at the guidelines, uh, whether we have to stop the AC receptors, uh, AC inhibitors and ARBs for those patients already taking is very controversial and the European Society of Cardiology guidelines do not recommend to stop the medications at, the pre at present because fluctuations of uh, high blood pressure can even cause more problems than by stopping them by stopping and changing over to the new medications. So having said that patients with the COVID-19 should not be initiated on AC inhibitors or ARBs as they themselves uh, can increase the, uh, the AC2 membrane receptors. So how does uh, the, the mechanism, uh, how it worsens myocardial injury is mainly by the AC2 receptors but the other mechanism postulated is by through cytokine mediated cytokine strong uh, which can also cause uh, myocardial injury. And so how does COVID-2 affect the cardiovascular system? We know that the mechanism of action of uh, coronavirus, the novel coronavirus is through the AC2 receptors which is extensively present in the lungs thereby causes pneumonia and lung damage. Similarly, the AC2 receptors are also present extensively in the myocardium. So patients with COVID-2 can also get involvement of the cardiovascular system and result in myocardial damage. So AC2 or angiotensin converting enzyme 2 is present in the membranes, aminopeptidase is present membrane bound in the cells and this helps as a receptor for the entry of the SARS coronavirus 2 into the cells and thereby it can cause injury to the myocardium. My, my, my. So the other area is the patients who have uh, acute Conde syndrome or STEMI and this can be again uh, can, it can be uh, seen in patients with the positive COVID-19 uh, patients and uh, these patients should be uh, investigated. Ideally these patients should be tested with the STEMI tested and found to be positive a uh, primary PCI avoided in view of the risk of uh, uh, increasing the risk for the for the, for the cath lab personnel. But it's uh, practically it is uh, difficult to perform testing uh, get to get results quickly. So at the moment uh, many of the uh, guidelines now recommend that uh, it's preferable to do uh, thrombolysis uh, instead of primary PCI in stable patients with STEMI and in extreme, extreme high risk patients one should consider doing it if you have uh, a, a cath lab which is uh, quite safe to do with uh, personal protective equipment and adequate uh, filters is very often not available in the cath lab. So patients who are elderly and patients who have pre-existing cardiovascular disease have higher incidence uh, of uh, mortality when COVID-19 develops and uh, hence these patients should be, care for attention should be paid to to protect these patients, particularly patients who have uh, cardiac heart failure, patients with uh, previous MI, uh, patients with LV dysfunction and uh, uh, patients with hypertension and patients with ventricular arrhythmias. These patients are, with history of ventricular arrhythmias have higher risk of uh, uh, developing uh, mortality related to COVID-19. So to finally to conclude, uh, COVID-19 uh, definitely affects the cardiovascular system and causes acute myocardial injury